What are you looking at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Ah, uh, yes. Time for the news. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore? <laughs> I like a human that knows this place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, I'm gonna make them pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories, where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you a hundred caps for each one, twenty-five if they die some other way. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof, like a key, a ring, or something. Bye. Yes? Hey there. Yes? Stay chill, dude. Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. All right, you and me, just hanging. Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think Dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort.
No shit. That dude wants me dead? No problem, dude. Thanks for not offing me. Later, dude. Something Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Well, my presidency. Not much of a shot, huh? I couldn't kill Jeff, but I got his son. That'll have to do. Here's your caps. I'll just take that key. Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Not much of a shot, huh? I couldn't kill Jeff, but I got his son. That'll have to do. Here's your caps. I'll just take that key. Don't keep me waiting.
welcome.
You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have... You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please, tell me. I'd really like to know. Fine. Let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. Fine. Blow me off. Live in denial. But take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. If you change your mind, if you decide you want to help, present the component to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead, and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. He'll go back to the Commonwealth, and you'll have saved a man's life. Go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Hey. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Tenpenny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Tenpenny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. If you bother Mr. Tenpenny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? Good. What are you looking at? Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. 